Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, today we're going to talk about um, O2 sensors and Cadillac converters and things of that nature. The reason I want to touch on this is because I got an email the other day from a, um, a young aspiring mechanic, technician. He wanted to be a mechanic when he grew up. And he called. One thing I pride myself in, one of my motto is there's no such thing as a dumb question or a crazy question. Or stupid question or anything like that so with that in mind they feel free to ask me anything and I do mean anything I don't care how basic it may sound or how may how basic it may be to you it's okay to ask me so one of the questions I got was um, this young fella called he said he had a P0420 uh, not 042 he had a P0131 now uh, he had an O2 sensor circuit low code but the problem he ran into was uh, the bank one and the sensor one because that was part of the code and he it confused him. Uh, sure enough, I mean, it, the younger cats these days, they see a fault code and they think, they see an O2 code, let's say for example, and they automatically think, replace the O2. Sometimes you can get away with that, sometimes you can't. I much prefer you diagnose it properly and that way you will be led to replace the proper O2 sensor because most cars have four now. Most cars have four. Now this again is where the problem came in. He didn't know where or which O2 sensor that was in question. So I'm gonna go over that with you man. We're gonna talk about an engine. This picture right here I draw this is a car. It's not a good picture but don't worry about it. So we're gonna talk about the typical V engine. Alright uh, it could be a V6 V8, hell, even a V10. It doesn't matter. If it's a V engine, it's going to have two banks. Bank one and bank two. That's simply two heads. I mean, you got a bank one and bank two. Uh, you're going to have two heads. All right, so with this car in question, I'm going to uh, draw an engine right here. Okay, we're going to make this a V6. All right. Uh, okay, that's your typical V6 engine that's representing six cylinders okay now follow me here okay we're gonna we're gonna number these cylinders now if you know basic engine you understand that cylinder one was is always up front okay that's any v engine cylinder one is going to always be in the front so let me let me do this if you ever in question on where is cylinder one you simply lean over the engine and find out which bank has the closest, which bank or which cylinder is closest to you if you're standing in front of the car. Now, if it's a sideway engine, same theory applies. Just find out which bank is closest to the front because that's always cylinder one. Keep that in mind, guys. If you ever want to know where cylinder one is or which bank is which, find cylinder one first and that will lead you in the right place. Okay, let me finish this. Uh, this is cylinder one, three, five two four six all right we got our cylinders right here so and another thing do not try to memorize this stuff because most engines are different they're not all the same I mean cylinder one could be on the right bank cylinder one could be on the left bank it depends on the manufacturer that designed the engine all right so we got this squared away obviously uh, bank one let me say this, bank one is going to be always where cylinder one is. That's the easiest way to remember, memorize that. Bank one is going to be whichever bank cylinder one is on. So in this case, bank one is going to be on this side because cylinder one is right here. In this case, bank two, which is wherever cylinder two is, in this case is on this side, going to be on this side. So the typical uh, thinking behind this emission setup is uh, all right. Let me finish my drawing. All right, we're gonna have we got an exhaust manifold right here on each side. Exhaust manifold, and I'm gonna bring the exhaust outside of the car. Okay, and uh, right here somewhere under here under the hood, we have what we call a catalytic converter. And of course, uh, in some cases, you got a muffler right here. But this is where all the exhaust goes out. Same for this side. Catalytic converter. And out here, uh, right here we got a muffler, and out here is where all the exhausts go out. Now, O2 sensors, uh, 
it's going to be placed in four different positions on this car okay we're going to have one before the Cadillac converter let's uh put this one right here on each side before before the Cadillac converter and we're going to have one after the Cadillac converter on each side now so keep that in mind each side one after the Cadillac converter the, but these circles represent O2 cells. Okay, now I'm trying to make this quick. The best way to memorize this is uh, okay. Let's go over the uh, the code in question he had. He had a P0131 O2 sensor circuit low, bank one sensor one. Okay, let's determine what bank one is. Bank one is obviously on this side where cylinder one is. Okay, so that's over here. Now, sensor one is always upstream. It don't matter which side. Sensor one gonna always be upstream. Sensor two will always be downstream, meaning after the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. Okay, got that memorized? Sensor one, always before the cat. Sensor two, always after the cat. Now, when it comes to banks, wherever cylinder one is, is where bank one is. Okay, from this example, bank one, sensor one. Okay, let's find out where bank one is. Bank one is on this side. Sensor one is going to be before the cat, so that'll be this sensor. Like I can say, all it takes, takes is a little uh, thinking and applying what you know to the actual car. So this is a chalkboard, the actual car would be the same thing. All right, let me put another example up here. I don't know the fault code, but we're going to say bank two, sensor two. Okay, let's find bank two. Bank two is gonna be wherever cylinder two is. In this case, it's over here. So this is the side that's bank two. Now, sensor two, what I say earlier, is after the cat. So that's gonna be this O2 sensor right here. We're after the cat. Okay, man, I wanna keep this video short, but that's the best way to memorize. You can't memorize the codes. So you're always gonna have to look that up, but the best way to memorize which O2 sensor in question is to try to memorize it this way. Same thing with catalytic converters, but you don't have a uh, four Cadillac converter. Some cars do, but the typical average car has two. So when you talk about a bank two Cadillac converter, it's the same theory, guys. Whatever side cylinder two is, is that bank. So in this case, Cadillac converter bank two, it's gonna be right here. Cause we over here on bank two side, cylinder two. Cadillac converter bank one, it's gonna be on this side. It's the same side. Cylinder one is, remember, remember, cylinder one is always the cylinder that's closest to the front. That's the best way to memorize that. And so you pretty much, uh, this should be, you know, easy enough to remember as far as bank one, sensor one, bank one, sensor one, sensor two on the bank one side, sensor one on the bank two side, and sensor two on the bank two side. So that's the easiest way to memorize that. I'm on a chalkboard, the actual real life car, it's the same theory. So keep that in mind, guys. Like I say, there's no such thing as a dumb question. You got any questions, just ask me. You can ask in the comments below. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. We're going to talk about